Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In today's video, we will learn how to unpivot the data in Microsoft Excel using some simple formulas. Let's say, for example, your data is in this structure where I have the quarterly sales data set up this way where year is in the column and then the four quarters data are in four different columns. How do I transform this data into a structure like this where year, quarter and sales are three different columns? This is what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. First, let me explain the business context of such a scenario. Uh, that will help you decide if this is a technique that you can use to unpivot the data in your specific use cases. So the data that I'm dealing with here is the quarterly sales data for Tesla. And I was looking at, you know, just doing some analysis on that. And then I saw that the data I had access to was in the structure, which is year is the first column, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 are the four quarters. And the data uh, in those cells represent the quarterly sales. Now, this is helpful to create data visualization, such as the one you see below, which is a quarterly, you know, quarter over quarter, how the sales have changed for each year. The each line uh, represents a different year. And I can also use the same data structure to go into the chart design and switch it. Now I can do year over year comparison, where the orange line represents the first quarter sales uh, every year and I can see the trend as well. So these are two different ways of visualizing this data. This works perfectly fine. However, what I was after was to see every quarter sales across the five years. That's something that in order for me to create this visual that you see on the right, I need the data to be transformed into this three column structure year, quarter, and sales. This transformation is called unpivoting, and this is something that you can do using Power Query. But now in this video, we're gonna do it using some simple Excel formulas. Now let's get started. So we'll be doing this in three formulas. So one for the year, one for the quarter, and then one for the sales amount. So the first thing is to get the year. Before I start writing the formulas, I wanna make sure that my input data or the source data is in a table format. It is, or I've already converted it. If you have not done so, please select the values and then press Control T to convert into a table, give a name that is easy to follow. So I've just called it data. Now I'm gonna start writing my first formula for the year. Um, before I do that, just what do I want here? So I want each of the five years to repeat four times because 2020 should appear four times, then 2021 should be appear four times and so on. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna first generate a sequence of ones and I can generate a sequence of ones with a simple formula sequence of four rows. One is the starting number and then the step is zero. So that gives us a list of four ones. Now I'm gonna use this to create, so I'm, I will use the choose columns uh, function and I'm going to select this data, which is the year column in my table, comma, and then pass the sequence through it. And what will happen is essentially what this formula is doing right now is going to the year column and then what is the column number I should be picking or choosing? Choose one but I'm doing it four times. And so what happens is that column of year values will be chosen four times. And that's why you have this um, up here four times here. Now, this is great, but I want them to be stacked. Um, essentially 2020 uh, should appear four times and then 2021. There are multiple ways to do this. Uh, I'm gonna use the to call um, function and when I do that I just wrap this around with a two call and now I have converted 2024 times 2021 and so on so I can use a very similar um, concept for the next thing also so let's do for example for quarters sequence of how many years do I have I have five years for each quarter. So I have to do five comma one comma zero. This will generate five ones. But this time, instead of the two um, choose columns, I'm gonna use choose rows, and then I'm gonna choose these four Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. 
header values and then do a comma and I'll show you what happens now is same thing Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 as a row is now repeated five times because we have we used this as a parameter the sequence as a parameter into the choose rows it's basically choosing that row again and again and again five times now we've gotten this we can use the similar concept to do the two call wrapped around it and now we'll get q1 to q4 q1 to q4 q1 to q4 and so on so basically we have generated the dimensions we need now let's calculate the measure this is a lot simpler because i can just do two call of this and this will generate uh, and i have the the numeric formatting because the actual source data has decimals so now you can see 88 91 139 81 so that's basically carried over nicely and then for 2021 we will see 185 201 241 309 perfect so this is a simple way for us to convert or transform a, a data structure like this unpivoted into the structure now you can create visuals or other further uh, calculations based on this we can use a very similar concept for if your data is monthly so instead of four quarters if you have 12 months of data you can use the same concept except except there will be 12 months instead of four quarters so when you go into the sequence function you'll have to replace it with 12 instead of four um, so you can use the same concept for those you can also think about scenarios where what if the data is missing for one quarter so how do you handle that uh, the solution that I've explained here assumes that you don't have any gaps in the data. Um, I'm happy to do another video explaining um, how we can handle if there is blanks in the data or missing values in your measures. We can handle that very easily using a small addition to the formula that we discussed. If you have those specific needs, please put your request in the comment and I'll be happy to do another video explaining those solutions. You can also build a, a template which will automatically handle expanding number of rows and columns because if you notice that we hard coded the values here, four quarters, five years. These are things that we can make it dynamic very, very easily to make the solution scalable at, at, at the same time very easy for you to do repeatedly instead of modifying the formulas every time you need the solution. Uh, please let me know in your, your feedback in the comments section below. I'll be happy to do another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video.